Hello Taurus, welcome to the channel. This is Kelsey from Empress of Energy. I'm ready to jump into a current energy check for you beautiful guys. So if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe. If you're returning, welcome back everyone. I appreciate you all, I really do. Um, I'm getting a weird vibe today, I'm not going to lie. Getting a weird vibe. So current energy, I'm seeing the five swords a lot. I don't know what it's about yet. It's giving me a weird vibe. Hmm. Time is fluid, okay? So that five of swords could have already been someone that you know about. Um, because I see an apology also. So let's see. So the energy I'm reading is either yours or somebody connects to you and adjust it clear, flip the rolls as you see fit. Um if the messages aren't for you, don't force it to fit, you know. Well, we've got a liar. Oh my god, the tower. I don't like what I'm seeing. Some of you need to prepare for a tower moment, but it's going to be like... Some of you, someone's going to try to steal or ruin something that you're working on, that you're building on. But you've been told to not give up on it. Literally. Oh, we've not had a heavy one for a while, I suppose. So let's see what we've got for Taurus, please, Spirit. Some of you and Venus. Yeah, place the sign in your birth chart anyway, like. Cross watch is always welcome. Let's get messages for Taurus, please. <laughs> let's see what we need to see. Yeah, we need to gather some strength for something. Leo Energy. I feel like someone's going to try and be mean. The hermit. Hmm. Interesting image on this card. Could be dealing with a Virgo. I'm going to get more before I speak. For a change. Tell me more for Taurus, please. Oh, okay, okay, okay. More Leo energy. Very strong Leo energy here. Could have that on your birth chart. Or you could be dealing with one most definitely. But the sun, happiness, clarity. Yay. Okay, that eases me a little bit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I didn't like what I was seeing. And I, you know, we've got it We've got it good at the minute. Our energy's like flying. So, I mean, obviously someone's probably going to try and put a damper on that. So, but I don't think it's going to work. The four cups, you're not going to pay attention. Oh, this is your advice. Don't pay attention. Tell me more. This could be someone that you're refusing a couple of love from or that you already have done. For some of you as well, there's a potential missed opportunity coming here if you're still going to be focused on the cups from the past. Oh, the Queen of Swords and the Two of Swords. You've been told to block someone here. Oh, I don't know what some, someone's coming in. I feel like someone's coming in, it's going to be a tower moment, it's going to shock you, it's unexpected, it's bad timing, it's all of the above. It's not what you need right now, it's exactly what I'm getting, you're being told to block it, Queen of Swords and the Two of Swords, don't look, don't look. Interesting. Someone's finding you very attractive online, Taurus, the Five of Wands arguments this, this is someone could be coming to fight for you to be dead honest but there's something about what you're doing online or what you're posting online you know stories or photos or but you're looking very sexy you're looking sorry just get the chair you're looking very attractive with the queen of wands you know very laid back as well i want to say you know you know you know you know who you are you know about yourself you know, you're spiritually protected. There's something about you in this, I say it all the time, but in the circle of protection, you know. Someone doesn't like it though. I don't know if someone's jealous. There might be a lot of jealousy around you. I mean, definitely is. Let's clarify. Oh, I've got sirens in the background. Oh, I feel like this is a warning. Oh, what's going on? I mean, I know the area that I live in is a little bit rum, but... 
in a weird vibe, guys. But you're being told to continue blocking, looking away. Queen of Swords, you know, don't let this message. I feel like you are going to get a message. Night of Wands could be off a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. I mean, you could be dealing with anyone. We've got all energies here. Let's clarify this energy for Taurus, please. Some of you, there's something going on either to do with the marriage or a home. Mm. Oh, page of cups. Is someone apologising? This is this is a general reading, right? So this is going to be different for everybody. But some of you are going to get an apology, and some of you it's not going to be that easy, that simple. Um, because someone's still not necessarily very happy, or. at least happy that you're happy to say that someone's got some defending to do but the people are going to come in very different it's, i'm getting i'm getting um different vibes tell me about this strength please for taurus tell me about the strength but this is your advice you know have strength courage or you already are you know you're already dealing with inner demons as well you've done a lot of shadow work you've looked in your own you know you've looked in the mirror at yourself Someone stressed over your strength. Oh, wow. Okay, we've got the Nine of Swords, the Lovers, could be dealing with the Gemini or an Aquarius here with the Star. But I feel like some of you are going to be left with a choice to make that possibly is going to stress you out a little bit. Or someone's going to, someone's stressed over. Some of you have met someone new with the Lovers here. Like, you've got a new connection, a new spiritual connection, and it's, you've been led or guided to this person as well, is what I want to say. Someone's going to try and come in between that because they're stressed over you. Getting what you want, getting what you deserve, getting what you wish for, you know. Someone's stressed over you in this energy, looking amazing, feeling amazing, energy's amazing. You know, you're doing a lot of work on yourself, self-love, self-care, self-empowerment. But this is the healing after a tower, so whatever you've been through, you're healing from that and looking absolutely unreal as you're doing it. And someone stressed over that. This is someone that has already turned the back on you before now, but they're still holding on to you. Tell me about this hermit, please. You know, this is you isolating, doing a lot of speaking to the universe. You know, with the moon, especially. That's I love seeing this. The image on this card is beautiful, especially when we just had the eclipse. But it's like you're. You're sending your manifestations right up as above, so below, you know, with the hermit. I know that's with the magician, but I'm getting a very similar vibe here with the hermit. You've dealt with, you're dealing with who you are, you know, you're asking for guidance, you're seeking for, you're wishing for something, you're pleading, some of you. I don't want to say begging, but, you, you know, you, you really want something right now. And you're doing a lot of isolating, a lot of going into hermit mode in order to achieve it. And you're going to get it with the sun straight after, or whatever you're wishing for, you know, is pleading. To the moon, to the stars, to the universe, to your guides, to your ancestors, to your spirit guides, you know, whoever's protecting you up there. They're about, they want to deliver. Someone's watching you online. Tell me about this hermit, please. Thank you. Okay, we've got the Four of Swords, Justice, and the Eight of Wands. So, justice is being served here. There's some kind of laid-back attitude that you've got toward a situation. Not, I'm not going to say laid-back, but you're not reacting, you're not responding, you're staying in this Four of Swords, you know, you're staying very, very chilled, very relaxed, very... I'm not fighting, I'm not arguing. And... Just, so justice is being served, like, but I want to say, like, the universe is watching you, you know, you, you please. Someone's listening to you, please. Karma, the universe, you know, could be dealing with a Libra, but someone's watching you, please, and listening, and you're about to get what you want, whatever communication or forward movement or, you know, whatever you're wanting, 
you're going to receive some kind of message which is going to bring happiness as far as to what you know in regards to what you want and what you're wishing for there's communication coming oh for some of you it's some truth for some of you it's something of honesty Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. This is already someone that you've cut off. This is someone that you're not, you don't entertain, and you don't want to necessarily. Or it's about, you know, you know, it's not something that you've got emotion toward anyway. You know, you're very stern looking, very much so upon receiving this communication. But, <clears throat> and this is coming soon with the Knight of Swords here. This is a fast move, moving Knight in the deck. It could be harsh words for some of you though. But we've got the sun. This is happiness, clarity. Could be something to do with a child for some of you. But I feel like you're gonna be celebrating over something. You're gonna you're gonna be happy with some kind of outcome. Tell me about the sun, please. Tell me about the sun for Taurus. Interesting reading this. Oh, yes. Right, okay. I'm relaxing a little bit. I'm a little bit like, what on earth is this? Because we've had amazing energy. Um, six of Wands, okay. Victory, success, winning. Winning, winning, winning. Right, this has been a heavy battle as well, you know. It's been a very heavy battle. See how they've got blood on the sleeves. So something's not been easy. Something's been difficult. Something's been an emotional roller coaster. Something has been, some, you know, it could be physically for some. You know, there's been some kind of battle. This is the victory. This is success. This is winning. And some of you, this is publicly. You got right. You can have a lot of people cheering for you. You could have had, you know, let me get more. But this is, well, some of you don't necessarily see this just yet. Um, but you're going to be celebrating over something. Yeah, you're going to receive some kind of communication which is going to make some kind of big difference, major, major difference in your energy. Settle in, I want to say. Settle in because I'm not going to lie, my belly was in knots when I started this reading. I don't actually know why, but it's now at ease. It's now literally gone. <laughs> so something that's, you know, a little bit, something that's going on that's a little bit nerve-wracking maybe. Like, whether this is directly linked to you or whoever you're dealing with you know there's something nerve wracking going on and there's success coming oh my god I should sneeze <sighs> so sorry <laughs> dread to see what my face looked like then <laughs> okay the eight of cups one more please for this sun it's like you See, all, I can, all I can see in this card at the moment is the shooting star. So again, it's, I feel like a wish, wish is coming. And you're not necessarily expecting it. You're not expecting it. I feel like you know exactly what, you know, you know that victory, you know, you're going to be victorious, you're going to be successful, but maybe you don't anticipate when. So I feel like something's coming in sooner than you think. And it's like coming in like a shooting star. And it's coming in towards you whilst you're... Maybe a little bit, I don't want to say preoccupied, but looking at something else, maybe, you know. One more for this sun. Wow, judgment. Ooh, judgment. It's judgment time. And this is, you know, so this is utter deserved success. Someone, I feel like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like there's someone in, someone's making a decision, a major decision, which is going to go in your favour. If this is a legal situation, that's what I'm getting. Like this, this could be to do with the child, most definitely. But if there's something going on where it's like someone else is the decision maker here, is what I'm getting. Someone else is going to be in control of the decision. It's going in your favour. Happiness, winning. Success. Damn. 
page started here again, there's a potential fire sign watching you, Taurus. But they're watching you move on. For some of you, for some of you that has not heard from the past yet, they're only going to do that when you've met someone else. And those of you that have met someone else, if the past hasn't come back, they're going to be doing. And I don't know how they... I don't think it's with much emotion, do you know what I mean? They may have it, don't get me wrong, but it's not how they're coming in. I mean, they could, they could, but it won't, won't be for everyone. Tell me about this Four of Cups, please. Oh, the wheel. So this is destined. Luck is on your side, Taurus. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favour. Again, I feel like someone... This is out of your control. Something's going on that is completely out of your control. But you can relax because it's going to be going in your favour. You're going to be the one victorious. So it's... I'm getting such strong manifestations coming into fruition. I really am. You know. One more for Taurus. Yeah, it's going in your favour, the King of Pentacles. This could be something to do with money. Wow, the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Sugar plums. Two people. Knew it. Knew it. So, because for, for a lot of you now, right, time is fluid. So, if this doesn't resonate with you, it just doesn't. Wait, you know, it will when you've found a new person, I suppose. If you're single, of course. But for some of you, you've... For some of you, there could be infidelity on your side as well, Taurus. I'm not going to lie. Um, so, take it as it resonates. But there's two people here. There's two kings. No gender in tarot. Male or female. Could be an earth sign and an air sign. Doesn't have to be, though. But, whilst you're... For the majority, whilst you're distracted on someone else that the universe has kind of delivered, you know, you've broken karmic cycles here and you've found someone that's your match. And now someone's going to be coming in to... Tell some truth, speak some honesty. Again, I don't necessarily like the way that they're going to be coming in, though. And you're being told to look away. You know, you're not looking. This could be the same person. It doesn't have to be for two people. But for some of you, it's definitely two people. And you're going to be faced with a decision, a choice to make. The love is already up here. I, was, I said that earlier. You're going to be, have to choose between two people. Oh, shit. The magician again you're powerful please understand that some of you have manifested this past person coming back without even knowing it some of you have done it knowingly but it's only as and when you've turned your back on feeling the one hard done by or because you have i won't say hard done by because you have been fucked over a lot taurus but you stopped acting that way do you know what i mean it's not, there's no more, or the, when you get to the point of, why me, there's going to be a major shift, with the manifestations especially. Oh God, this is an interesting reading, tell me about this Queen of Swords please. Yep, two of pentacles. This is weighing up your options. Juggling. The Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. This is happening sooner than you think, Taurus. Someone sees that you're happy and they can't get in. Someone see someone's light behind this brick wall here. Your happiness is in the dark. You're keeping your happiness to yourself. Whatever you're finding happiness within, whether this is someone new or just something else that you've got your you focus on, right? Someone sees that from behind this wall. Someone sees your happiness, that you're you're at peace, yeah? And it's the outside or whoever's on the outside, they're coming in. Could be an Aries for a lot of you, the fool. Someone's ready to take a leap of faith. And this is sooner than you think. And this is only because oh shit. This is going to shock the shit out of you. This is... Someone's mask is falling off and divine intervention. So this is, our, this is a test for some of you. I've said that before now. 
Oh my goodness. This is definitely a test to see if you have broken them karmic cycles, Torah. So, um, you know, you've all got free will as far as your future is concerned. Some of you, you know, people can change. I'm not going to lie. People can change. Of course they can. You know, I'm most certainly not the same person I was two years ago. But because you found something brand new with this Ace of Pentacles here, you know, something that's been delivered to you, something that you, you find peace and happiness and warmth within, could be a new job. Um, but now someone's coming in, which is going to put you in a position to have to weigh up your options, weigh up your choices. And this is someone that's put you in the Queen of Swords energy. But you're being told to block it. Don't I feel like it's not even a, it's not even an option. Do you know what I mean? It's not even worth considering. Whatever this is. Oh shit. The Ten of Cups. Oh my, this is not this side of the card, can I just say, it's not, so there's a, you know, you go towards your happiness here, whatever your emotional fulfilment is, what you're dreaming of, there's, again there's something about secrecy, there's something that you're you're happy with secretly, emotionally fulfilled, but it's secretly, like you're not displaying that to the world, and now someone's confused over that, but they know that you've got it. the ten of pentacles yep but it's a secret it's not necessarily a secret you're just not parading it and someone can't stand that someone doesn't like not being in the know so it's it's like your advice here Taurus if this hasn't happened yet then you need to continue to it's like this side of the Ten of Cups, I feel like it's an energy of realising what love should be and what you've been dealing with down here isn't necessarily there. So it's like you've elevated, do you know what I mean? You've gone towards your own, pouring all of them Ten Cups back into yourself, into one big one, one big Ace of Cups. So that's what you've been told to concentrate on. Tell more of this Two of Swords. Oh, someone's missing, someone's missing you, someone's missing family life, someone's missing happy home, happy family. Someone's missing you. One more for this two of swords. Someone's regretting what they've done. Spilling cups over. Yeah, someone's regretting putting you in the Queen of Swords energy. Wow. Queen of Swords again. <clears throat> Someone regrets what they did. Someone's missing you. But again, you you know, the Queen of Swords here twice with the two of swords. You, you've been told to... Yeah, some of you need to reevaluate your manifestations because some of you are manifesting this possibly without even knowing it. Um, or you, you already have. So it's now, you know, shit. I've got the hangman, the magician, the sun, the tower, the fool, temperance. Oh my God, all this major arcana energy. This is like unavoidable. This is out of your, your control completely. You need to look at your manifestations differently from a bigger perspective. And this is about... The happiness that is behind closed doors. Someone's mask's falling off. And it's going to shock you because someone's taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. Could be dealing with Sagittarius. We've got Sagittarius, Aries. We've got all signs. All signs. Leo, Gemini, Pisces, Scorpio. Wow. Sorry for the long reading, but I don't actually know what to say about this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know. <laughs> um, but thank you, Taurus. Um, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.